hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how we can download different type of files from a link or from a server api response like we can download a png file or a pdf file csv file and the zip file also we'll see how we can prevent uh, some of the files like pdf csv files etc from opening inside a new tab instead th those should be downloaded here to see how we can achieve that let's get started i have an empty react.js project that is showing nothing right now so let's go ahead and add some download buttons on click of that we will be downloading some files so we can say a button and here we can say download file save it here you go so why it's centering here because i have added a class name app and if you go to the css it just uh, display flex and centering the content inside the window and also i have some files already added inside the public folder the type of files are csv the pdf the png file and the zip file so i will be downloading these files uh, but in your case you might be downloading it from your uh, own servers the idea will be same if it is working for this public folder or the local host it will work for your uh, server url or any url you are getting from your apis etc so what we can do is uh, on download file we can add a on click function and here we can say that download file at url and we can create this function we can say copy and paste download file and we will pass it the url and uh, let's define the url for each of uh, these files so we can say const png file url is equal to and we can copy this one localhost and paste it here and then it will be the file underscore csv file underscore pdf file underscore png file underscore zip so we can say it will be file underscore png and dot png and let's copy this one and add the urls for others as well so it could be the pdf and this is a csv and this is a zip and here you can see pdf dot pdf and here you can say csv and here again you can say csv and here you can say zip and here again you can say zip right and here you can uh, pass the url so instead of download file we can say download png file and here you can pass the url png file url right so let's copy this one and add the other buttons as well so this will be pdf and this will be csv and this could be the zip and here it could be the pdf and this is a csv and this is a zip right and here we will be getting the url and what we can do is the idea is that we will be creating an a tag and giving this url to that a tag and we, we, we will be clicking on that so here we can say const a tag is equal to say document dot create element and that will be the a tag and here we can say a tag dot href is equal to the url that is passed and then we can say the a tag dot set attribute and we will be setting attribute like it is a download url and then we can get the file name uh, we can hard code it the file name here or we can extract the file name from your url or you can pass it from here so we can extract that uh, from here so the last part will be about the file name we can say const file name is equal to url dot split it on the slash and then uh, pop it and get the last part right and it will be the file name copy it from here and we can paste it here and then after it is uh, created our tag we can add that into the document.body we can say document.body.add 
append child that a tag and then after it is appended uh, we can click on that a tag we can say a tag dot click and once all of that is done we can say a tag dot remove this node right if i save it here you go added all of these these button and if i now click on any of these like download png and uh, if i double click on that here you go the png has been downloaded then we can download the pdf here you go and if i show that into the container folder here it is the pdf file and let's download the csv as well here you go csv has been downloaded and again the zip file is downloaded if i open this zip so this is the content of the that zip file right so this is how we can download any type of file and it works in most of the browsers and are the most of the browser settings but in some browser settings or some browsers uh, when you click on the pdf file or the csv file because the browsers can also read those files so instead of downloading what they do is they will oh they can open it uh, that file in inside a new tab right so to overcome that what we can do is we can create a blob uh, out of the url uh, we have and then we can download that so instead of opening into a new tab it will uh, download that file your, to your computer right so to do that uh, what we can do is we will be fetching the file uh, based on the url that is passed and once it's it's fetched uh, then we will get any response and what we can do is we can say response dot create the blob out of that and once we have that blob in hand uh, blob then we can do uh, some uh, this work so and we will create a url uh, based on this blob so we can say blob url is equal to window dot url dot, dot create object url and here we will be passing our blob we can create a new blob here and pass the blob we have uh, from the the fetch right and and rest of uh, the work will be the same we can cut it from here and paste it here and instead of this url we will be passing this blob url right if i save it and just refresh it and click on the png again it's the same png is downloaded and if i go to the pdf the csv and the zip file right so the benefit of creating this blob will be that instead of opening the file in, inside a new tab it will be downloaded always right so that's it on exploring different ways of downloading different type of files i hope you got the idea but still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you